Our Blood Institute is working to fill a critical shortage of blood donations. It's part of the reason that Two News partnered with OBI for the Two Cares for the Community Blood Drive today. Two News anchor Naomi Kitt spent the day at Jim Glover Chevrolet talking with donors who are helping save lives. When my mom got sick, she needed blood and it came from here. Joseph Franchella has been donating blood three to four times a year for the last 15 years. He says it's his way of giving back. That's part of what we do as a human being. We're here to help other people so that they can get on and help other people and everybody can help each other. He was one of the first donors at the Two Cares for the Community Blood Drive Friday at Jim Glover Chevrolet. Stephen Miller also stopped by. I've been getting notices in my email that they were short on blood supply over and over, so I figured I need to get down here and do something. Our Blood Institute says the winter weather in January canceled some donations, so they're working to catch up. To make it through the rest of winter, we're going to need to make sure that people are coming out to blood drives and donating when they are eligible. Susan Addison with OBI says every two seconds someone needs a blood transfusion, and it takes 1,200 donations every day just to make sure hospitals have enough blood. It was my mom one time, it could be your neighbor, your coworker, your favorite teacher, your best friend. We want to make sure that nobody on their worst day gets told, hey, we know you need a blood transfusion, but nobody was willing to do it. Addison says every donor is saving three lives, and that blood stays here locally. For the donors I talked with Friday, they say it's their way to make a difference. I like to help try to help out the community. If you couldn't make it out to donate today, our Blood Institute has a donor center in South Tulsa that collects blood every day. You can find more on their website at obi.org. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.